Hey John, what are you learning here? So some of the things I've collected from the from this, uh, um, it's a good environment by the way, but some of the things we've talked about or I've been involved with is basically the staff and the, who could become a um, um, PC and Keris manager and staff around those things. And uh, I plan on meeting further about that this afternoon sometime at a, at a little group, table group meeting. And uh, basically some of the things I've heard was that uh, there's like um, uh, people with disabilities or in wheelchairs all this other stuff um, who uh, who can be PCs, caseworkers, stuff like that, but also a lot of other things that I've kind of touched up on, like, uh, you know, I feel like we can all be staff some ways or we can all be friends, stuff like that. And I feel like in some ways it's hard to tell which, which having a staff benefits whoever and stuff like that because uh, each person, like, I feel like we all benefit to staff as much as they benefit us. So there's like a fine line and it's like, there's not much capping into or questioning or opportunity and stuff like that. But now, just now a little bit ago, I came from a, a, a group session where they talked about uh, um, the uh, guardianship. And they were given, I talked to Julia, but I said I shared text with her about alternative guardianship. I think it was like voice or something like that. The, Center the, for Youth Voice and Youth Choice. Yep, yep. there's some other things as well. I think Gator, the one of them is out of Massachusetts called Gator something, Gator Advertising, something like that. I'll, I'll share with those. Like, do you mean Julia have a document and on your text message? Basically, basically we talk about guardianship and how people automatically get guardianship placed on them automatically for whatever reason as much as possible we even had people here like one from rhode island who agrees with that and uh um how they get guardianship placed on them from hit on and uh how in, in how even with inter, in, uh, even with the uh, early intervention how some people get kind of you know like it only selects a certain part of the population some get kind of bypassed and forgotten and all that stuff and that's still a problem and and a lot of you know and a lot of them get underserved and stuff like that. And another thing is like, even with guardianship and stuff like that, like we also talked about uh, um, a lot of, there's like a lot of sources, information, how there's a lot of opportunities for other people to have a saying in their process or advocacy and how they can have like uh, um, caseworkers, PCs, and everybody they want to be involved in that advocacy group from whoever gets picked with family voices and they do Zoom meetings and stuff like that. And they, uh, um, um, but that's kind of all, all I remember from that. And uh, um, some of the things, else, some other things I remember is, uh, um, or I figured out is that, um, um, like from Iowa, um, they, uh, um, um, so basically they're all doing something to kind of making sure that each person has sane in their process or their team and stuff like that or their, their group meeting and stuff like that. Another thing I've talked about is I, this yesterday, um, we had like a, we had a discussion about social media and uh, some of the information I gathered that was not only the information I provided, which I can still provide to you guys, but also I heard something like, uh, um, it's good to narrow down that social media, have it be concise, and also have it not have too many hashtags, and, and be resourceful and how in different ways to use social media so you can tap into a certain young population or certain populations and younger populations and stuff like that because um, like utilize like uh, um, social different sources, social media, and uh, um, share, comment, even when you share or repost something, add comments and stuff like that because I've realized. When you when you use social media, you are what you present yourself to be, how you present yourself to be. And social media is a way of pre presenting, advertising yourself, and how you advertise it yourself and stuff like that. And uh, um, it's good to narrow down a, a few people or one person who use that social media, so um, they don't uh, um, nobody gets confused and stuff like that because there's not diverse opinions and stuff like that. But kind of narrow it on a plan and some sort. Because I also talked a little about communication and, and uh, um, my communication and how uh, um, I utilize that communication and stuff. So um, that's uh, um, uh, 